The, our next guest is a nutritionist with some tips for the best Sunday football snacks. Mm -hmm. Go mm -hmm. Niners! And welcome, Ashley Hawk. I have to say that because you won't. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Happy Sunday. Happy Hello. Sunday. It's always great to be here with Good Day Sack. And, you know, it is football Sunday. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I'm always watching the games for the snacks. So I watch Hello. the football too. It's great. Um, but, you know, really, I want something to nibble on. And if you're not there for the football, then you should at least be there for the food. So I wanted to give you a couple ideas of things that are good for you. And they're also going to be, you know, good to watch the game with. Okay. Mm. Um, and all of these are good for your mm. heart because what we're going to be focusing on today are snacks that are high in fiber. So oh. first up, we have a really easy three ingredient tortilla pizza. And I know when you hear tortilla, you're like, Look, how, is that really going to be as satisfying? But you've got to trust me on this one because it's so easy. So we're using a whole wheat corn tortilla because this is high in fiber. And then we're going to add just about a tablespoon of a marinara sauce on top. And you really don't need much. This is kind of the the trick here is don't overload it with sauce. Oh. You want just enough to coat it. Okay. And then you're gonna add in your mozzarella cheese on top. But you could also add different toppings if you want. So I did one with black olives. You could do a little bit of pineapple. This is where it gets kind of fun too because you only need to put these in the oven for about five minutes. Okay. So you can make okay. them really quickly. So you can even kind of set up a little bar to let everyone, you know, make their own tortilla pizzas. I love that. And again, really high in fiber. So you're just gonna cover that with cheese and then you're gonna bake it for five minutes. When it comes out, this is one I did with black olives. It looks like this. Oh, you can oh, slice that's it. That's good. You there slice you them on up just like a regular Ooh. pizza and take a look at that. Looks and good. And you can also dip them in different things too, which brings me to my next favorite topic. Okay. Dip. Dips. Dip, dip. I love a good dip. dip. I don't dip. know about you, regardless of if it's Sunday or Monday, I love having things that you can dip in around four or five o'clock. So I wanted to show you how you could make a health forward seven layer dip. Oh. And actually you could even make this plant-based too. It's all about just finding the certain ingredients that you want to highlight. So I did want to, if you didn't want to stray too far from the classic seven layer dip. So we're starting with beans on the bottom. I'm just using a fat free vegetarian refried bean, all right. but you could also do your own black beans that you add a little bit of taco seasoning to. And again, this is that fiber. Mm -hmm. Did you know we're supposed to be getting 24 grams of fiber a day? Oh. And most people are only getting maybe 12. Oh, so they're not, not even getting half that. Yeah. And fiber is so good for your heart because right. it's what's going to naturally help lower your cholesterol. So again, we want to look for those foods that are high in fiber, the whole wheat, um, bread products, and then beans and veggies are mm -hmm. also great. So we've got our refried beans on the bottom, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in a little layer of cabbage, but you could also do a green lettuce too. You question just from the floor, sort of question. Veggie. Any any tips on layering or basically just do whatever you want with it? Great question. It kind of depends how soon you're gonna eat it. I try to do the, the black beans on the bottom, and then I like to add a few veggies in so they get that nice crunch in there, mm. but everyone's a little bit different. Some people like to do their sour cream on top or in the middle. I'm kind of mixing it up on your personal preference Got where it. I'm doing my veggies then I'm adding in a little bit of corn. Oh. And then to make this seasonal, you've got to hear me out on it. We're actually adding some pumpkin. Ooh. So I'm doing a small layer of pumpkin because again, pumpkin has got great fiber and it's high in water. I and naturally, that. if you get just a pureed pumpkin, there's no sugar added. Oh. So it's actually can go savory and sweet. So this is a way that you can do pumpkin on more of the savory side. Very cool. Um, so we've got our pumpkin in there, then we're gonna add a layer of salsa, and then we're also gonna add a layer. I'm using a non-fat Greek yogurt because we've also got the protein in there. However, of course, you could do a regular sour cream, got you could it. do your guacamole. And then again, I've just been feeling the black olives in season, so I'm doing some black olives mm -hmm. on there. But you could do some cilantro, however you want to. Very, very nice. Um, and, and look how pretty it is when it's all done. Looks it comes out good. with all these different layers. And then where it gets really fun is you get to, you know, be the master of what you want to dip it with. So, you know, of course you can do the traditional tortilla chips, but you can also do different veggies. I love cucumbers, carrots, crackers. You could even do apple slices. Mm -hmm. So that's where, you know, you're also able to amp up the fiber and you can make this in a small serving. You can see how this isn't a huge dip. You can, you know, just make it for two or three people if you're not hosting and just want to have some festive foods on. Sounds hand. good. Nice. We've got about 30 seconds left, Ashley. Okay, this is my favorite one right now. Actually, this is my little Halloween whipped pumpkin dessert. Ooh. It is only two ingredients. It is cream cheese with a little bit of pumpkin. You can add some sweetener if you want, but all you do is stir them together okay. and then you're going to get this great creamy looking pumpkin dip. You put it in the refrigerator and then you take your crackers. I'm using graham crackers. 
and you dip them in some melted chocolate so you oh, can kind of make yes. these fun little faces fun. and then you can add different um i did the white chocolate chips but you could make pretzels to make fun little Cute. faces or you can just serve it as is we love that um, and then last up you can find these on my website um are the no bake pumpkin energy bites oh, these are great too because sound good. make them on sunday but keep them all week long um so happy happy football watching happy okay football. what's the website because i've got to get that recipe it's ashleyhawkrd.com. You can also find me on Instagram at ash at ashleyhawkrd. Sounds good. good thank stuff. you so much. Of course, pumpkin thank energy you. Bars. Nice stuff. Will you make that pumpkin stuff? I think I'm gonna try it. I Protein, because really, yeah, because pumpkin is healthy. It's yeah. definitely healthy for you.